Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, today's content, Biden's floating a $15 minimum wage across the sector. I'm telling you, from an economic background, that's going to kill the economy, flat out. But we're going to focus on a very specific subset of the economy, the retail gun industry, or gun shops. Now, before we go too deep into that, I'm going to talk about the newsletter for a second, because you guys are killing it. The newsletter, if you guys have not been aware or not signed up, basically, the newsletter serves two functions. It allows us to communicate in an underground communication because I'm telling you we are on the cutting edge and we need to be able to communicate. That's one. The second one, I'm sending out free um, ammo links every Friday for pistols, every Tuesday for rifles. Anything I can find, I throw it in there. If there's mags I can find, I throw it in there and it's free and I ship it right to you. Um, I want to make sure you guys are flush, make sure you're good to go, and it's in that email inbox. The newsletter sign-up is in the description box below. Get it on there, get your friends on there, because this is the cutting edge, and I'm telling you this is the next evolution. This is the response to what I'm about to tell you about. So, the $15 minimum wage it is an economy killer. Flat out, I'm just telling you, it's one of two things that are going to happen. Again, from an economic perspective, you're either going to have, well, you're definitely going to have a labor increase, a cost of labor. The labor increase is actually going to surpass the point at which machines are cheaper, so these people aren't going to have jobs. That's one option. The other option is these people who are at the bottom rungs who require that or are going to be affected by that $15 minimum wage. There's going to be less workers in the same environment because business owners have two choices. They can either raise prices to accommodate more expenses or they can fire workers because they have to keep those expenses the same. It's one of two. So either service goes down or employment goes down. It's one of those two things or the, comp the company goes out of business flat out. Okay? Now, to put it in your perspective, if you are a family that, let's just say you have to eat four times a, a month, okay? Well, now your meal just got from, I'd say about 25 to 35% more expensive because you have to handle the expense added on by the government of the minimum wage. So now you can't go out to eat four times, you can only go out to eat maybe two and a half to three times. Now, if you do that across the whole nation, you see a significant decrease in spending and money velocity. That doesn't really matter at the second, but the big thing is, the bottom level to the mid level are gonna have less discretionary income, which goes straight to gun shops. Now, gun shops are the exact same way. They have a secondary problem. Their, their inventory is completely constrained. They can't get third party parts for cleaning stuff, ammo. They can't get anything like that. They can't get any more guns right now because everything's being bought out and sold out. The ones that actually have inventory are only making small margins and the ones that don't have inventory are not going to be around anymore because now you're adding expenses. And that's where it actually affects the Second Amendment and it will change everything. But keep in mind, changing is not bad as long as we're in front of it because they're zigging and we're, we're going to be zagging. So that's the importance of this newsletter, guys. We're getting in the front. You and I are forging this new revolution in the gun world because in two to five years, I promise you, you will not see the same gun world. It will be completely different. In my opinion, it will be more efficient, more streamlined, and a lot easier. But right now, it's going to start going through this, and this $15 minimum wage is going to add to that problem. Now, I want the gun shops to survive, but I honestly don't believe they're going to, simply based on the economic pressures that are being put upon them right now. It's very similar to all retail industries, but that's a very specific one. The ones that are gonna survive are the ones who have ranges who can offer services like training and range services specifically. That's where you're gonna to start to see the survivors versus the die off the vine because they're actually offering something they can make margin on and revenue on versus none. And that's the really big thing I wanna to bring to you guys. Change is absolutely coming. When they put this $15 minimum wage in place, it's going to accelerate that change. But the great news is, you and I are on the front of this. In this newsletter, we're gonna be so far in front that everyone else can be trying to figure out what's going on, where they're getting the goods, how they're doing it. And you and I have already established this and we're gonna have some amazing fun doing it because we are on the cutting edge, baby. When a bunch of us get together, we can do amazing things and that's what this newsletter is all about. We have amazing hope in the Second Amendment because it's not getting worse, it's just changing. And in my opinion, for the better. But leave your comments in the field below. What do you think? You think I'm way off base? Am I crazy? Am I just some stupid guy on the internet? I don't know. But I'm telling you, this is where it's going, and I want you guys along the ride with me because I am hella excited. But until I see you tomorrow, I'm Braden. Thanks for stopping by.